Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we are going to be going through another Photopea tutorial. This one comes as a request. I got this a little while ago for creating a glowing flower. Uh, this can work for pretty much any sort of glowing object, but we're going to run this through with this flower because that was my request. Now to start, we are going to use our object selection by right clicking our magic wand and we're going to highlight the entire area where our flower is. It's just click and drag to create that box and then bam. It might be a little messy, that's okay for now. Then you're going to just press Ctrl J. That's going to create a duplicate layer, and that's going to give us just our flower. Now I've turned off my background layer that shows everything, and I'm going to grab my eraser just to clean up any sort of weird edges that might be there. So anything that you don't want, anything you don't want to create that glow on, so any sort of weird sharp edges, anything that maybe might have been close to the same hue. Excellent. Now with that, I'm going to create two duplicate layers. And now I've got layer one copy and layer one copy two. With my layer one copy two, I'm going to change its overlay type. So with this normal, and I'm going to change it to overlay. My layer two, I'm going to do that. It's the same dealio, but I'm going to select screen. Now you'll see that this has created it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. This is what we want to do. Now with that, we're going to select the top layer, hold shift and select all three of those individual flower layers. We're going to right click and convert them to a smart object. This will merge all of those layers and allow us to manipulate and turn on and off stuff later on in the future. Now with these, I am now going to create an outer glow. What you need to do is you need to right click on your crop tool and you need to go to the eyedropper. You're going to select a random selection of pink that you want and that's going to be your tone. Now I've grabbed that. Excellent. That's my shade of pink. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go into my outer glow once more. Again, I'm going to change that to be my pink hue. I'm going to change my color to be the pink that I just grabbed. And then from here, we're going to start doing a little bit of adjustments on our sliders and everything else that's here. Uh, my opacity, I'm going to change up to 100%. I'm not going to change the noise. I'm going to put this spread probably somewhere around 2 to 5%. Depending on your image, this will kind of change. I'm going to drag my size all the way to max and my range I'm going to bring somewhere around the 80 to 100% mark. That'll give you a nice decent spread. Uh, again, this is all personal preference. Try messing around with it. You might see something you like. You might notice that some of these numbers don't really work for your image, depending on the quality of your image, the sizes and whatnot. And then you're just going to select OK. Now, once you have that selected as OK, you are going to create another new layer. You're going to duplicate this. So I'm just going to press Control J created a duplicate layer. Now with my new layer selected, I am going to go to filter. I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to go down to Gaussian blur. Now you notice it kind of makes everything blurry. That's okay. You're going to max out this slider. I think that's around 400 pixels and you might look at it and go, that looks terrible. That's okay. Just click okay for now. We are now going to end up changing our drop down menu. We are going to end up changing this to soft light. Bam. And now we've just got a little bit more of that glow that's actually emanating from the middle rather than just being the outside on itself. We are now going to turn on our previous image and you can see our flower if you wanted to leave it here. That's cool. I've still got a couple more things I want to do though. So I'm going to create a new layer down here in the bottom right hand corner. looks like a page is kind of folded over. Select that and I'm going to make that in the middle of my selections. From here, I'm going to select my paintbrush. I'm going to make my size pretty big because I've done this before, but you're going to want to end up having your image, oh, sorry, soft round brush, and you want it to pretty much cover most of your flower or your item or whatever it is that you're actually going to be doing. So I'm going to press that. It's going to take a moment and you'll see it looks pretty bad so far. That's okay. With that brush, I am now going to end up setting this to dissolve which will give it a little bit of a pixelization. Still doesn't look great, but that's okay. We're gonna set our percentage to somewhere around two. You can go roughly around two to five-ish. Seems to look okay for the most part. Five might look a little bit more, but just to give it kind of that glowy emanating effect, like there's kind of like the glowing pollen coming off of this. Now, there's one last step we can do to kind of make this thing above and beyond. That's creating one more new layer and adjusting our brush size down quite a bit probably around the 150 for me, 200-ish stage. And then I'm gonna just draw some pink reflection on these rocks. Now you'll see that it's gonna show up and it's gonna look pretty bright. That's okay. We're gonna go over and we are gonna change that to soft light. 
within our blending type layer. And you can see now that pink is kind of just starting to show up in a little bit in a few of those spots, wherever I truly want it. Now, if you wanted to make your brush smaller, bigger, whatever, to do whatever it is that you want to end up kind of adjusting this. But I like to end up creating a little bit more of that glowing-ish, that reflection. I think it makes the image look a little bit more realistic. With that, that is it. That is all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.